Hey guys, what's up? It's Captain SNES here. And today I'm walking around town, about to get my Switch. It is, uh, it's like nine o'clock right now. Heading down to GameStop to get a receipt that I need to get the Switch when it comes out, and uh, which is in a couple hours. And I'll be there for the midnight release. Hope to take you guys with me, unbox it at home. Sorry, you could probably only see my face. I probably look like a phantom. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna go get that receipt and I'll be back. All right, so I was just, just in GameStop and uh, the best thing ever happened. I knew I wanted a warranty for the Switch because I didn't want it to break. And like, if it did break, I, at least I have a warranty for it. It was $30, but you know, I thought I might as well get it and I got a screen protector too. Here's the thing though, the total came out to 52 something and I only had 50 on me. Now, since I'm such a, uh, I don't know, such a loyal customer, I guess, I go there all the time. The dude, like, I know him. He's he's awesome. He get, he paid off the last two dollars, uh, two or three dollars of it. He's awesome. I've got my receipt right here with the little sticker on it. Twelve oh one. That's gonna be great. There were like five people in there. Uh, they didn't have any reserved consoles, and <laughs> they're gonna be waiting for a while. So uh, see you guys later. All right, it's five minutes until midnight. My mom is in Wise right now, getting food or something. Game stops right over there. She's coming back. Peace out. All right, hey guys, I'm back. I've got the Switch, the... All right, sorry about that. I've got the Switch, the Deluxe Edition. I got a poster, and I got this right here, which is a uh, Legend of Zelda skin and screen protector for the dock, the Joy-Cons, and, you know, screen protector, whatever. But look at this. The game, like, the game box is so much bigger. Like, how much stuff? Could this possibly have? I mean, it's got the, the carrying case in it, which is gonna have, which is gonna be like the size of the thing. But uh, before I open this, here's the back of this. Uh, you know, the back of this is just amp, eh, whatever. <laughs> to be honest, but this is like, got this weird. I, I can't. I don't know what it's called, but it's got this. It's almost sort of waxy, like. A, almost a crayon, but it's soft at the same time. I don't know, it feels like that all over the box, and it's amazing. I, I can't remember what it's called, but I'll like, put it up on the screen if I can remember, or if I can figure out what it is. All right, don't wanna mess up the box. All right, so we've got some blue material. We've got, all right, let me just open this up. Wrong way. Whoa, all right, all right, all right. So the blue material is to go along with the game. Okay, so we got the carrying case right here, which, so I guess this is the size of the Switch right here. I, I don't know any sizes yet. So this is about the size. I'm gonna take this out. This is a, a soft rubber. It, it's sort of hard. Not too hard though. What, what does it come with? So it's just this and it's got a spot for all your games, accessories, and for the Switch itself. All right, so that's pretty cool. That's probably the reason I got this edition of the game. And then put this off to the side. All right, so right here, we've got the map, a coin, the game itself, which this is actually a lot smaller of a case than I thought it would be. It's a little bit wider than a PSP case. Really thin, it's thinner than a PSP case, probably half as much. That's pretty cool back art. Yeah, all right. And we've got, last but not least, really not least, I think I'm gonna be listening to this a lot, the soundtrack to the game. I'm gonna pop all this out. Uh, this comes in a little plastic sleeve and Here's your coin, it's got some like glue or something on the back of it, but there's your Zelda coin. I'm not gonna take this out right now because you know, it's just stuff. Okay, so you can see on the back there what all it comes with. All right, now we've got the main event, which <laughs> the Legend of Zelda stuff, that was pretty cool, but now we got this, all right. Opens up like this, like an Xbox box. Oh wow. This is a lot smaller than I thought it would be. Oh my god. Okay, all right. 
So I don't have my phone to compare this to. But this right here is the console itself. Like this is this is tiny. This my hands spread out the console, so it's like two of my hands. This is ridiculously small. At the end of this video, I'm gonna compare it to the Vita, but oh my god, okay. I'm not gonna take this out yet. Not yet, okay? Let's put that right there. And the Joy-Cons, they, they're so small. Oh my god, I, I don't even know if I'm cut off in this video, but... Oh my... Alright, so it doesn't have uh, the triggers that go down. It's literally just a button, which is something I, I like about the Wii U, actually. I, I like that it's just a button, it's not an actual full-on trigger, but... I can see myself using this. This is pretty nice. This is a really small button up here, but... Oh my god, it is like, it's like DS buttons, like... Not DS XL, not just normal DS, 3DS buttons. <sighs> okay, alright, I'm, I'm reading too much into this right now. Alright, put the Joy-Cons back in their sleeves, put them over here. Alright, so I just checked my phone again, and apparently it's like here and up, so I think I'm good. I think I'm in the frame. This is just a top piece. There's nothing here. Get to take that out. On the floor. <laughs> Now, oh my god, everything is so much smaller than I thought it would be. Alright, so we've got the... Alright, my, my dog's playing with some stuff in the background, but we got the... The grip right here. I, I feel like I'm bending down more than I need to. But we got the grip right here. It, soft plastic, it feels nice like this. Sorry about my dog in the background. Actually, I'm gonna pop these out here. Okay, here, here's the moment of truth that satisfying clicking sound. It does make a small clicking sound, okay. All right, I'm gonna take the other one out. All right, all right. This does feel a little bit funny. It has more room to move, I think, just a, a tiny bit more than the PS Vita, but it feels nice. I, it feels like actually just a 3DS, to be honest. Got your HDMI cable, whatever. Bogey! Bogey! Alright, my dog's just having way too much fun with the toy in the background. We've got this AC adapter, not too big at all. And, okay, it looks like our dock back here. Ooh, we got the Joy-Con straps. Switch manual, very small compared to the 3DS's three manuals. Or two, but then there were three different languages for each one. And then right here, we've got the small, small dock. Whoa. This is ridiculously tiny. Now, nobody has um, pointed this out so far. And I'm just going to say that it looks like if you put your switch in here, there's a plate down, a plate in here that it presses down on that makes the USB-C part come out. So it doesn't get damaged in any way. That's awesome. And that is all that's in the box. <laughs> Alright guys, I know that I'm probably like super, like, but I don't know, dark right now because I have no lighting in my room whatsoever and this is not the best webcam ever, but I've got my switch in my carrying case right here that I'm going to take out. I put all the stickers and everything on it. Uh, I don't know if there are any back stickers for right here, but I don't think there were on the Joy-Cons. So we've got the front of it right here. Uh, yeah, you guys can probably barely see that, but I'm trying. I'm trying. It's got some embroidering, it's got this back, this back part, some art, the kickstand even has a sticker. Everything came on there pretty easily. Uh, the screen protector's got a few bubbles in it, but actually not over the screen itself, so I'm happy about that. And it came with these little thumb grips that also have like Sheikah Slate kind of looks to them. So now to move the case over. I have the dock set up with the power adapter in it and the HDMI cable. And I'm going to take off the Joy-Cons. <laughs> Actually, no. I think I need to have them on. So I'm going to turn this on. Okay. I'm putting in my internet right now. You guys can probably barely see this. 
everything's very nice and just, I don't know, looks, oof, I don't know, very clean. Connect to a TV, alright. This is where we slide the Joy-Cons off. I'm gonna slide this in the dock, is it time for us to slide it in? Ooh, ooh, things are happening, things are happening. Okay, I needed to record a little bit sooner, but whatever. I think I'm gonna go with this link with what kind of background color? I think I should pick some kind of blue. Ooh, I like that because it blends in with his shirt. I can tell you that using these independently just feels so good. It feels just normal. I thought it would feel like I'm constantly struggling to keep them in my hands, but it's it's really not like that whatsoever. Up here I'm going to be Captain NES because you can only have up to 10 characters. Captain NES. All right, more than one users can be added. Skip. Setup is complete. Hit the home button just like Xbox. Bada bing, bada boom. I forgot to put the game in. Okay, I'm gonna set the Joy Cons down. I'm gonna take the game. Uh, I got a few knives right here. I got my crambit. I'm just gonna very gently open this. All right, all right. Now everybody was saying this thing doesn't come with manuals, but they were also sent review copies. So I'm interested to see if it actually does or not. Cause that'd be weird if it doesn't. But it's also super light. And it, it doesn't come with any manuals whatsoever. It's literally just this. All right. Now let's practice putting the card in. This is thicker than a PS Vita card, but I don't know. It, it's about the size of a PS Vita card, but it's a little bit thicker. All right, so now I gotta find the slot for the card. Pop it in. Ooh, Breath of the Wild. There we go. So I got the Joy-Cons, got Breath of the Wild. Now I'm not gonna show any more. This is gonna be the end of the video. I'm just gonna like look around a little bit, but oh my god! <laughs> uh, oh, it, so there's just a bunch of tips and stuff here. I'm not gonna show any more in this video because I don't want to get copyrighted by Nintendo. I'll do other videos where I play uh, Breath of the Wild, but this is everything. Like, oh yeah, and the capture button. You can literally just take a, a picture of anything. So like, capture taken, album. Boom, right there. Like, you can't do that on Xbox. It's literally anything you want. Alright guys, if you have enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like, comment, favorite, and subscribe for more. This has been Captain SNES, signing out. Now I'm going to play all of this that I can. Peace.